Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mario here with Junk Removal Money. Uh, I know I haven't made a video in a while, so I wanted to make a video while I had a chance to do this really quick. Um, I've been really busy, especially with a lot of you guys needing help with Google Ads. It's been taking up a lot of my time. It takes away from making these videos, but um, busy is good, right? So, um, what I want to talk about in this video is I've been working uh, with a lot of you guys, and I get a lot of calls, and I want to clarify a couple of differences between Google Ads and focusing on SEO. So basically I'm going to break down what both of them are and why they're different and um, so we're going to start with a SEO. So Alright guys so here we are on Google and we're going to break down the differences between running Google Ads and doing SEO for your site. So basically when you come to Google you're trying to type in um, a phrase at the very top and those are those are the phrases that you're going to show up for and in order to rank for them either using Google Ads or SEO they're, they're basically using keywords to describe this phrase when it's searched now I just typed in junk removal near me and it populated three ads at the top and these essentially are called Google Ads and what they are is they're either links to your site or they're call ads that you're paying for every time somebody clicks on them. And the way you're targeting them is by using keywords and negative keywords to show up. Now, to show up, um, you're going to be paying anywhere between 5 to $4 a click if you're doing it right. If you're not doing it right and um, you're in a competitive area, you could be paying up towards $14 every time somebody clicks on this ad. And that's not saying that you're actually going to get the business. Um, it could be somebody just looking at, at your site or uh, um, multiple reasons. You know, somebody that's window shopping, but it doesn't always mean that you're going to get the job. Now, when you're running Google Ads, I suggest using the course that I that I have for Google Ads because it will dramatically decrease the amount of money you're paying per click. Um, I've had guys that are saying that they were paying 15 bucks a click in some states, and I got them down to four to five dollars a click um, with the techniques that I teach in the Google Ads course. Um, the Google Ads course is still available at 50% off. You can head over to junkmovemoney.com to check it out. But um, Moving on, after you've, you've searched something on Google like this and you've passed the area where there's Google Ads, you're going to be coming down to this section and this is called the Map Pack, it's called the Snack Pack, people call it all sorts of things but essentially it's a, it's a map uh, and then it's got three different uh, businesses below. It, this is what Google is saying is the most relevant to what you searched and it, there's a few variables that go into this. Um, one of them is proximity, how close you are to the business. Other other uh, things are how well the SEO and the GMB listing is optimized on the listing itself and on your site. So there's multiple ways to get these GMB listings to rank higher than others. And that is work that it's either done on the GMB listing as well as on the site and as well as creating citations going back to this listing. So this area is accountable for 33% of the clicks coming through Google when somebody is searching phrases like this. So it's very important that you're showing up in this area as well as the organic area. The organic area is responsible for 44% of the clicks coming in through Google and their traffic. So you can see why it's a good idea to also focus on your SEO for both of these areas as well as Google Ads. Even though you are paying for Google Ads, it's accountable for, for, for some of the traffic that's actually coming into Google. And so if you're doing you know 10 jobs a day and you're getting some of them through organic down here, um, why not pay a little bit more and also get traffic coming in this way? The other reason people start with Google Ads is because when you're starting and you're in a competitive city or area where there's a lot of you know people and there's a lot of people actually um, you know, basically competing for the same keywords because there's lots of businesses, it's really hard to outrank them at the beginning and it does take some time. So depending on how competitive your area is, um, my competitor, my area is a lot more competitive. Um, it could take anywhere from six months to 12 months to really start to see some, um, some traction. And if you're in a more rural area, it doesn't take very long. But like depending on the city that you're in, it could take a lot longer. And if you're paying for this service because these services for SEO 
are complex. They do take a lot of work and they do take a lot of knowledge. So you got to know what you're doing or else you could be working towards something and never really get there. Um, so when you're doing this, you're, you know, either paying a service or you're um, dedicating a lot of time into it. And it's going to take, you know, six months to 12 months to see a return on your investment or to start seeing traction as opposed to uh, Google ads. Google ads shows you an immediate return on investment. You're spending money to uh, gain traction and it's working. You know, you get, you go, you basically, you pay Google one day and then you go out and do the job and you get your money back for what you paid on ads. So it's great for uh, small businesses that are starting to get their name known and to get work coming in consistently. Um, you know, SEO is the long-term game. It is definitely a good idea to be focusing on both of them if you can, um, because eventually this one, the SEO will carry your business to the next level. Google Ads is always good to start, and it's always good to have work coming in from them, but. This is the long-term game, guys. Always be working and, and working towards your SEO because that could change your business dramatically. That's all I really have to say on the differences between Google Ads and SEO. If you're interested in learning more about uh, SEO and um, or want an audit on your site, I can do that for you. You can reach me at 503-914-7250. Call or text me. Um, I'm available and uh, let's talk about your SEO needs for your business. Um, I thank you guys for watching as always. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the comments. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching.